hey guys welcome back to another video so you know how usually when you're scrolling through twitter you're just liking through most of the posts you see on your for you page or checking out the trending tab well sometimes you want to check your dms right if you're popular you probably get dms from all the people and sometimes there's this message request that's pending and usually it's a scam like one of these as you can see it's just a scam where it's talking about a part-time job that pays like 10 to like 100 to 500 dollars ish and you need PayPal in line for that, but whatever. But has any one of you thought, maybe one of this is real? Perhaps you should check it out, you know? Something like that. I'm pretty sure some of you have, but most of you didn't let your interested thoughts in and actually accept one of the requests. Well, I have. Not this one, though. This one is going into the bin. You see, I've accepted a request oh from Elon God. Musk himself. Oh, as you can see, Elon man. Musk grieves. Clearly, Elon Musk, you know? If I go over to his profile, as you can see, it's very off. Right, no, it's not the real Elon. Well, anyways, this is, this is what went down in a couple of days. Alright, all this started about four days ago when I was chilling in my bed, scrolling to Twitter when I decided to check my DMs. Even though I didn't really have any DMs, I just wanted to check. When I checked, I didn't really think anything of it. I obviously had one request which I was curious of. When I checked, it was none other than Elon Musk. And obviously, since I had more than three brain cells, I knew that this was an Elon Musk. But I still wanted to play along with his gig anyways, so I accepted the request and started chatting with him. After I accepted his request, I greeted him, and he greeted me back. And he said something along the lines of, I messaged you in private, and I hope you keep it that way. I don't usually do this, but I suspect you're a nice person. Well, that's a great start. After that interaction, he asked me why I was being so hostile towards him, even though I really wasn't. All I asked him was what his deal was. There's no need to be hostile towards me. Huh? I'm not. I'm just asking what you want. You're a busy man as CEO. I know you won't just be wasting your time talking to people like me. To be honest, at first it did sound kind of genuine. It did sound like it was him. He was being pretty official and there was not many mistakes in his dialogue. But then he made the biggest mistake of all. He rushed the process and sent me a link to x.com, which didn't really lead to anything. Nope. All it does is send me to a website with an X. You sure you sent me the right link? And then after that, he just randomly sent me a link to his Telegram. Now, I already had a Telegram account for <clears throat> reasons, and I decided to just use my official account, which I completely forgot about. After a really glitchy and confusing login, I finally managed to get my account back and started messaging him on Telegram. Now, this is a fair warning. Telegram is known for its uh, lack of security and mostly being used by Russians, which as we all know, Russians are mostly hackers. The stereotype is pretty much real. Telegram is also very notorious for its lack of censorship with NSFW and adult videos. It's mainly the reason it's known outside of Russia. And I think the majority of people that use it outside of Russia use it for porn. So they should give you a quick rundown on what Telegram is if you didn't know. And if you did know, then you could have just skipped all of this to be honest. After that, that was it in Twitter. We moved to Telegram and the rest of the story continues there. Hey. Hi. Good to have you here. Alright, so like, what do you want to talk about first? What's your name and where are you currently located? Kind of personal. My name is Derek and I'm in misery. Now, if you've known me for at least like two minutes, you know that I'm not Derek and I'm not from misery. I'm Doku and I'm from misery. Oh god, that was such a bad pun. And then after that, for some reason, he just ghosted me until I messaged him again. Hey, homie, I thought we were talking business. Where you at? I'm at Texas at the moment. So tell me, how long have you followed me and my works? Since 2019, since you began to meet. I see. And if I may ask, have do you own any inv- oh, Wait a minute, what? <laughs> have do you own any investments or affiliations with any of my companies? Nope. Though I do like cars, especially fast cars. I haven't been able to buy a car. Tesla Roadster is one of my favorites. The Tesla Roadster is an incredible car. I'm sure you would love it when you get one. Yeah, would love that. Alright, man, what do you want? I mean, you sure have a reason to talk to me, right? Don't ghost me. Thought we had something going on. I'm looking for work. Wouldn't mind working. 
Ah, sorry. I've been quite busy. Well, if you want, I can grant you access to a roaster at a discount of 40%. Ah, that's understandable. 40%, huh? Well, how much will that cost me then? The Tesla roaster originally cost 200000 but after a 40% discount, it is implied, that would drop to around 120000 Oh, that's sweet. But to be fair, I'd rather buy it full price rather than have a discount. It would feel more fulfilling. It would be nice if you would allow me to work for you. Well, as you can see, I'm really trying to push him towards trying to hire me. It would be interesting to see if he would actually hire me or not, or like try to fish me into giving all my details. But I also wanted to test out if he would actually be Elon Musk. Since he's a rich multi-billionaire, he wouldn't let go of hiring someone for a low price. I could work for him for free for the first few weeks before he could actually hire me. I could help him arrange worksheets on Google, or I could give him new ideas. It was perfect for someone like him. But even though it was a long shot, he didn't really quite understand what I was saying. He just continued to try sell me his Tesla Roaster for 120k. Which is also pretty pricey considering that I live in a third world country, and having $120,000 could go for more than just buying a car. Well, it's up to you if you'd like to reject the offer and purchase it at full price. Uh, well, put it like that, yes, I'd like to purchase it for the discount. It still costs a lot, but it's better than not owning one. And now, this is where it gets really interesting. This is where he's asking for all the details that could pretty much locate me. And since I'm not in the location I've said before, and it's not my name, it was up to me to figure out how to make him think that this is all real. He also asked about down payment, which I pretty much didn't have any clue on what it was. I'm not old enough to know about down payment and yet, but still I researched on it and figured out what it was before giving him an answer. I'll have the secretary complete your purchase registration and send you across the invoice once it's ready before you proceed to make down payment. Also, do inform me what deposit method you'll be making the deposit with, and I'll have the secretary prepare all necessary info as I'm much busy after now. Wait, what? Huh? My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. Just a quick FYI, those are completely fake addresses that I made up by using some generators and a number generator. Don't actually try to go there, you might get yourself killed. Alright, I'll cut to a more interesting part of the story because most of it is just him saying that the secretary will take care of it and me telling him I'll do wire transfer. Other than that, that's basically all he's talked about, which is the secretary will take care of it. After I'd quote unquote placed my order, I told him that I'm also an entrepreneur and wanted to be like him. I wanted to be rich and wanted to be successful just like him. And sent him a phishing link to a website that I literally didn't know existed. He gave me a thumbs up on the phishing link but I don't think he actually checked it out. I didn't really get a notification saying that he actually checked out the link. Instead, he sent me a bunch of banking details for why depositing the money. And I'm pretty sure this is fake, so I won't even try to make it seem like this is real. But if anybody wants to donate to this guy, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. I told him that I'll send the money after two days since I'm on a trip, which is a lie, but I'll send it as soon as possible, which is also a lie. And I thanked him for giving me the opportunity and told him to check my website, which is also a lie, and a phishing link, and told him to give his honest opinion. Which is also a lie. Instead of waiting the two days, however, I just rushed the process because I had exams in two days and I didn't want to get distracted while studying. Wait, I don't study anyways. Well, that doesn't matter. I said I'll give, give him the money and he said to read the transfer receipt here. And that's when I asked the big question. How many people have we caught in this scam? Just ask him. I don't seem to quite understand what you're pointing at. You know exactly what I'm pointing at. Answer the question. Lol, are you suggesting you're being scammed, Derek? Yes, isn't it obvious? I mean, why would Elon Musk of all people message a random person and say, do you want a Tesla with a 40% discount? Quite funny. From a business standpoint, isn't it dumb? Hey, don't go offline. I want to talk. We can continue talking, you know? And after that, he just kept on answering like a bot. 
I really do understand if you misinterpret the reality of thing as I've communicated with quite a lot of people and on the long run I've come to realize that the difference between people who succeed and people who don't is the ability to identify and seize opportunities when they are presented by life. Uh, are you using ChatGPT to make your responses? Funny. It's really funny the point of ignorance humanity has been driven to. I'll leave you with that Derek. Do take care. Well, anyways, that's the end of the video. I thought it would be silly to make a video on this weird encounter I had just before my exams. So, thank you guys all for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notification. Also, like this video and tell me in the comments if you want to see more of these. I might try and make more if I get more Twitter DMs like these and they actually interact with me instead of just ghosting me. So, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, wait, I just got done editing the video, as you can see on my timeline, I'm literally at the end of the video, I just rewatched it and fixed all the minor details, and I kid you not, I checked Twitter, and he DM'd me, saying, lol, fool, you got what most people only dream of, and you pissed on it, I, <laughs> I cannot make this up, holy shit, I'm going to make a part 2 of this if this continues.